So the idea here is to pick your ideal Cricket 11 from non-cricketers. And by that I don't mean people like Phil Neville or Ash Barty who can kind of play a bit. I mean recreate a Cricket 11 field with traits from other athletes you love. Now there are a couple of rules here because I like to make arbitrary rules. You can't pick more than one person from a single sport. So that meant for me that Dr. J unfortunately couldn't make it batting number four. Uh, you, you don't have to be choosing all-time greats, but they have to be top-tier athletes, not your cousin with a killer crossover. And you need to pick each player for a specific role. It's not a list of 11 athletes you love. You need a keeper, a captain, and a spinner, those sorts of things. You, you've got to be a little bit creative here. So I'll start with my 11. I've left out any Australians because of potential bias, though I could probably come up with a pretty handy list of Aussie athletes if I needed to. Opening up is Ali Zirkel, and if you don't know much about her, it's probably because you don't follow the Iditarod, which is a, a dog sled race in Alaska. Uh, Zirkel is a 50-year-old woman who came fourth last year in the event. She, at one stage, she was the runner-up three years in a row, um, and she probably keep trying to win it until she's physically able to. Um, in 2016, she was going very well in a race, and a chance of winning uh, when she was attacked by a man on a snowmobile. Uh, she could have obviously pulled out at that point. She decided instead uh, to go on and she finished third. So that's what I'm looking for here for my opening batsman. I want someone who will go very long into the innings, has great endurance, but also understands that at times you're going to get hurt. You've just got to keep going. That is Ali Zirkel. To balance out Zirkel's stoicism and uh, grittiness, I wanted someone who could just score. So I went with Dion Chand, famous Indian hockey player. Now, I don't really like hockey but I am fascinated with early Indian hockey specifically because of how good they were and what happened to them afterwards. I won't get into that too much, but Chand won three Olympic gold medals. So that gives you a bit of an idea of how good India were. Uh, and while that's impressive, he also scored over 400 international goals for India. Now think about this. No one is sure of the exact amount. I like it when you score so much that statisticians can't even count them all. I've got Ali to grind at one end, I want a natural score at the other end, and I just think Chand is the ideal option for that. I keep finding sports that I have no real interest in, and I'm about to add another one, gymnastics. I'm not a huge gymnastics fan, I, I don't really follow it at all, but I know who Nadia Comaneci is, and she was clearly something very special. And I have. I'm very specific when it comes to my number three. The first thing I want is perfection. I'm picking the perfect 10 woman, so it makes sense. But also, I've got this vision of what a number three is in my head. Very short, but very quick on their feet, very athletic, but gritty as well, so much quite tough. I just think that Nadia Comaneci is all of those things, and also, you want someone at number three who's just really, really talented. I mean, that's also her. She's technically correct, but also has some flair and some grit. And for me, she ticks all the number three boxes. So Nadia's going straight in first drop. At number four, I think you should have a stylist. I think you want your most attractive athlete there. You know, I, I had a few names in my head, but really when I thought about it, there was only one that was going to ever bat it for. That was Muhammad Ali. He, you know, he's handsome, poetic, brilliant, pretty to watch. All, you know, on top of the fact that he's also great. And think about this. It's what the number four always was about, really. It was looking good while being good. Before all those number threes started moving down the order because it was they felt it was easier to bat. Back in the old days, you just put your most attractive batsman at four. And that is exactly what Muhammad Ali is. As an aside, think about this for a moment. Close your eyes and picture Muhammad Ali's footwork to the screen. Yeah, it really is that good. At five, I've decided to look for a captain, and there's been a lot of great leaders out there, ones who've played through injuries, united their nations, you know, made themselves good just by sheer hard work. Eventually, I decided on Megan Rapinoe, and I'll tell you why. It's because she took on her own governing body, which I love. Uh, she speaks up for LGBT rights. Uh, she took a knee after Colin Kaepernick did, uh, and she went up against Donald Trump. I mean, she's smart, tough, talented she she talks a good game but she walks a good game and i just think she'd be awesome out there in her blazer at the toss making the tough calls i struggled with two factors in my search for an all-rounder did i want a multi-sports player someone like jim thorpe or Dion sanders or was i looking for a decathlete and i decided on decathlete just because i think they're underrepresented and they're incredible athletes and once I did that, it was obviously going to be Daly Thompson. So I picked Daly Thompson. I think he'd be a strong presence with the bat, give you a little bit of speed with the ball. And let's be honest, it's Daly Thompson. He'd probably also be the best fielder in the team. I'm not very good at pronouncing athletes' names or general words at times. Um, and I'm certainly not going to be an expert on the next athlete I've picked, who's Finnish. Um, 
But I know he goes by Upi, so let's call him Upi. Now the reason I've picked him is he revolutionized how goalkeeping existed in ice hockey uh, by simply catching the puck instead of beating it away or letting it rebound off his pads. So what he did was he stopped teams from being able to get rebound goals, which as it turns out in ice hockey is one of the easiest kinds of goals. So he wasn't a great to the game and he's probably more known as a coach, but Upi, uh, which is the closest I'm gonna to get to actually pronouncing his name, uh, was probably the most pure glove, glove man that I could find out there. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a, a pure keeper. Upi is the most pure keeper maybe there has ever been in any sport. New ball, I wanted someone fast, strong, tall. LeBron James, simple. With the ball in his hand, he can't be stopped. Plus, he has one of those great memories that, that bowlers have. He can remember everything that he's seen on the field, and that's really handy if you're going up against opening batsmen. And, you know, he's, he's got the all-round game, doesn't he? So he's going to be decent with the bat. He could probably bat ahead of Upi, if we're being honest, but I put Upi in at number seven because uh, that's where we can keep his bat by law. Taking the new ball at the other end, I'm going with Steffi Graf. Really good server, you know, consistent, a lot of power in her serves. Also, she's got the ball to curve a little bit, you know. What I'm expecting from her is to put her in into the wind if, if needed. She's going to swing the ball away from the right-handers, and I bet she's getting a few edges through the cordon. For my spinner, I've gone with the great Satchel Paige, who had to wait until he was 42, and maybe even older than that, to make his Major League Baseball debut because he was black. By the time he got to the Major Leagues, he didn't have that big powerful arm he had for years on end. Um, but he was still so skillful, and you know, he had cutters and splitters. He gave them his own nicknames, a bit like what Shane Warne used to do. You know, and what an incredible athlete. He managed to still play professional uh, baseball until he was almost 60. You know, so I'm picking late era Satchel Page when it was more about the curves and the splitters. He also had a hesitation pitch, which is you know a bit like some off spinners do these days. Satchel Page, absolutely perfect to be my slow bowler. At number 11 is the legendary runner Haley Gebrelassi. Uh, my first change bowler, so I'm looking for long spells. And first change is a tough position, it's not sexy, and you miss out on the new ball. So I wanted someone who is great, humble and hardworking. I don't want him fighting for LeBron or Steffi for the new ball, but it, it's very important to me that he maintains his pace all day. And if anyone can do that, it's Gebra Lassie. So there's my 11. Feel free to disagree with every single person in it and that won't bother me at all. I'll just ignore you. But if you want to make your own team, you can. Put one in the comments or you can go on social media, maybe use the hashtag GreatSport11 and see what you can come up with.